So I've now come to that point where we're going to do our long form. For those of you who don't know what the long form is, if you've never been to a show before, we do about uh, 30 minute, give or take a few minutes, uh, improvised play. Um, and tonight we're going to do a mono scene, which basically there's one location that stays consistent on this stage, and time will be uh, consistently running through. Does that make sense? So there's not going to be any jumps in time. Is that cool? Everyone get that? So all you need is a location that will fit on this stage. Thanks, Matthew. Airport, airport, airport terminal. This is airport it. terminal. That's a good one. Airport terminal. <laughs> now boarding flight HRP Rose 86. Sort of the rest of the, the back of the plane. <laughs> Yep, definitely a plane ticket. <laughs> hey, sir, I thought babies and parents were supposed to board first. Um, I'm getting a little, a little restless. Strike what I said earlier. Lady, could you come back? What? What the heck is going on? I'm going to go to the first class club. <laughs> no, you can't, because you're not in first class. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Starbucks. Yes, you will. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, it's fine because you have a baby. Now boarding all parents with children. <laughs> well, I still need to see your ticket. <laughs> it's a lot, baby. So. Yeah, it's a lot. What? A lap baby doesn't have a ticket. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, definitely one plane ticket. Lap baby. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm in uniform. I thought that the military personnel were supposed to board first. Oh. <laughs> Strike what I said. Old lady with the baby, could you come hang out here? <laughs> Just go to Starbucks, we know that's where you're going. <laughs> now boarding all military members, uh, both active and past. <laughs> and if you're a veteran, you can come on this plane now. <laughs> yep, definitely military ID that says I can board this. <coughs> hey, pilot's here, ready to get on. Oh crap. You didn't board <laughs> Military dude, military. You don't, you don't have to push me. I serve this country. God. <laughs> All right. Now boarding. Oh, plane personnel. People that are necessary for flying the plane. I think it's necessary just a high five for pilots. I like your wings. <laughs> now boarding. No, seriously, thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank now you. boarding. Oh. Military personnel, both active and not active. Inactive. <laughs> Wait, no. I'm disabled! What about me? <laughs> I'm yelling from the distant Starbucks. <laughs> uh, uh, sir, with the pilot, could you thank you? No, the Starbucks! <laughs> oh. <laughs> keep my tickets in my shoes, but I lost my legs. Did you lose oh, Daryl. your legs? Hi, Daryl. Did you lose your legs recently, or do you now keep your tickets in a different part of your body? I lost my legs 50 years ago. Could you tell me the story a bit of it? Well, it wasn't in the war, actually. You just lost them? <laughs> I had my legs cut off in a, in a machete fight with a hobo. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> I'm also disabled from the Starbucks. Oh, God damn it, Diane. <laughs> oh, my God. It's that guy that I chopped the legs off. <laughs> I am 
no longer homeless. <laughs> Flight 817 is going to be delayed about 20 minutes. <laughs> got a grudge match between a former hobo and what I assume, were you, were you past the military? Oh, of course. A veteran? A veteran? And a World War II. A World War II, a World War II veteran and a hobo are going to duke it out. <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, he wasn't supposed to know that the hobo I fought with a machete was a woman. That makes me feel bad. <laughs> If it clarifies anything, the hobo Wait is a, second. a woman. Wait a second. I need to look at you when you're speaking. Proceed. I already made the announcement. Repeat it. Can you add that I am a woman? That was the same. The World War II veteran updates to come. Dude, I heard the final loudspeaker. I held up TSA over there. Nice. <laughs> Diane, I've had about enough with you putting me down. <laughs> I've had quite enough of you evading me for 50 years. Wait, I have a question. How do you lose your legs? <laughs> One second. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> I, asked, I asked Diane how she lost her legs. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't remember. Oh, here it's... we go with the memory problems. <laughs> Let me turn dramatically. <laughs> the female hobo is monologuing. <laughs> she's, 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 she's scooting her electric chair. <laughs> Electric? Yeah, it's got a motor. Can I monologue? I'm sorry, electric chairs are not allowed in the airport. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I will still monologue if it is permitted. <laughs> and TSA just dumped the female hobo out of her electric chair. Why the shadow, bro? Please at you. But please speak loudly, because my hearing is poor. When I was a homeless woman That's 50 years laugh. ago! That's That's you laugh. Laugh. I guess hurting my ears. <laughs> I had a severe bout of alcoholism. And I got really drunk off of some cheap thing called Crystal Palace. <laughs> and I don't remember what happened, but I, I woke up and I had nubs. Crystal Palace evidently means something to you people in this airport. I thought it was a more widely known drink. Alas, it is just a drink for alcoholics. That's exactly correct. Okay. My monologue's done. Can I come back now? That was a super short monologue. Okay, fine. Basically, it was a comment about how you had alcoholism. Right? Christ. Alan, 50 years ago. The, I, one, the veteran's name is Alan. Just so <laughs> Alan was making fun of me for my legs. Alan, that's rude. Wake up. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Alan, the veteran, was making fun of me for my beautiful legs. So I jumped his off and I got really drunk. And after I got really drunk, because I felt guilty for taking the legs, of a veteran man? I chopped my own off when I was drunk. So that's how I got here. And I've, I've been looking for you, Alan, to apologize. Could we get her a manual wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> Just really slowly. Bring it out really slowly. That's <laughs> You are a strong woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> That's what I've been looking for you. For. What? To apologize. About my legs? It's not a confrontation, it's a reconciliation. <laughs> Are you good? 
I, I heard a bit of that, so I'm just going to assume you said it's not a confrontation. It's, it's a, a silly nation. <laughs> Those are, it is are correct. <laughs> Alan, I'm trying to be okay. In fact, I'm taking this flight to go to a really far away AA meeting. And my first step is to apologize for those whose lives I've hurt. And whose legs you've taken. You've taken. <laughs> oh, go on. Is, is there a speech about that? There's a speech about to happen. <laughs> she, she put the brakes on her manual wheelchair and was steering the chair along the floor. Alan, I dramatically will say not to your face. Alan, that, that, that's rude. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> that I'm <am> sorry. <laughs> jealous rage and I'm here to say I have raised enough money for you to get those biotic legs or it's heartwarming <laughs> and I just want you to forgive me at 95 bionic legs I can walk again this is all I've ever wanted I can run again we've got two monologues well, going <laughs> It's not technically a dialogue because they're just staring out the and saying things. You know, as I was drinking my iced latte in a Starbucks earlier, I was thinking to myself, what would it be like to run with the Mustangs of North Dakota? If only he knew with these biotic legs what it was like to run with the Mustangs of North Dakota. I, I wish that for him. If only she would knew to wish what I want. <laughs> Running with ironic legs with North Dakota Mustang. If he knew that I wished what he wanted to wish for, <laughs> then we could reconcile. But until then, I can't picture a way for him to know that I wish that he would get what he wanted. It's, it's getting super convoluted. <laughs> Forgotten, they can just turn and talk. To I'm, I'm no. getting to it. <laughs> Whoa. Well, temporarily. That was a best <laughs> The veteran has vertigo. Alan. Diane. I brought the bionic legs for you. <laughs> she has bionic legs in her suitcase. <laughs> Did we not check that? <laughs> Made a 3D printer so it doesn't go through the metal detector. It's scientific. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that clarification. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> let's, let's confront this to the nation. Give me those guy on my plate. And will you often also happen on the iPhone? No, That's say. okay. You can also happen to have epoxy to glue them onto my leg. <laughs> yes, all in my suitcase. <laughs> Someone please help Diane with the suitcase. Is he? Oh, it's oh, here. We got it, Miss Lady. <laughs> Whoa. She's still disgusting. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> now please apply the epoxy. <laughs> That's it. I'm ready. <laughs> Just in case anyone was wondering, they're not really bionic legs. They're 3D printed pegs that you can. <laughs> so. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Over the loudspeaker, can you say something awesome and dramatic as an introduction to my rebirth in bionic 3D printed paperlets? <laughs> and also, please narrate the moment that he forgives me. Okay, so you want me to talk about his awesome we'll get to that paperlets? <laughs> Just the paperlets. We're gonna, all right, so I'm going to make... What do you want me to do? Give me some sort of title, really cool, and then explain it through my peg leg creation. Okay. Call him uh, Dr. Peg Leg. That's, that's mean. <laughs> that lady's disgusting. <laughs> Alright, um, here goes. Are you ready? 
Three? No, no, you can't do it until after I finish this. Oh god, okay. What was your rank in the army? <coughs> Is it sweaty? General. general. <laughs> Alright. That was just a comment. That was, I'm sorry for that jab. Okay. General Alan. I don't know his last name. General Allen is uh, going. He's the six dollar man. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly as I thought it. <laughs> oh, I keep your suitcase. Sorry, right, I'm not used to these leg thingies. Do they come with shoes? I may have a ticket in there. <laughs> It's not a question for me, it's a question. <laughs> Wait a second, I forgot. I brought my suitcase on the back of my wheelchair with my lucky shoes that I brought, thinking that this day might find me. <laughs> Lo and behold, cowboy boots. <laughs> and then just live a terrible rest of her life for the next, what, three, four years she has? I have no legs! <laughs> You'd be directly responsible for that. She seems kind of happy and it pissed me off. <laughs> you just gave her a giant <clears throat> God damn it. That alcohol, miss? Yes. Got that from, t got past that through TSA? Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> you disrespect us, TSA? <laughs> I think this is a new low point in my life. I know. If I got Crystal Palace poured on me by a disgusting human being, I would be a low point too. I had my legs cut off. So did you. Wait, I have a question, and the entire airport's asking the same question. Why didn't you print a set of legs for yourself? <laughs> When you're a reformed homeless woman, you can't make that much money. So I had two options, both which involved a kind stranger offering me to print one set of 3D legs. I could either find Alan and give him the set of really shitty legs, or I could keep that one. And I knew, in my sad little heart, that I had to do what's best and bury the hatchet once and for all. So I found Alan. You mean the machete? <laughs> do you have a machete too? She does. She does. It's in the Get him, disgusted woman. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Is it mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait. You she kept it in her shoes. <laughs> she kept it in her shoes. <laughs> just, just, it seems like everyone's going to get really confused in a second. Um, the harmless lady glued shoes to the little pedal parts of the wheelchair. And what I assume, she did it before she got here, uh, on a wheelchair from before. I think most of this was orchestrated by the homeless lady in an attempt to justify the confusion as to why she didn't just glue the peg legs to her own skull. I'm glad I went to war to see TSA really up their game. <laughs> We held auditions a few weeks ago, uh, and we have our new members here. We'd love to welcome them to the stage. Yeah. So definitely come out and help us welcome them to the troop, all right? Thank you guys so much for coming.